Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, the Guitar Maniac, and welcome to another episode of Gear Review. Sometimes you get into a situation when you order something on the internet and you get the wrong item. You have to deal with sending it back, and this is what's happened to me when I ordered Nuke's Time Force. I've got the Yo! Yo! Analog Delay. This one is like one of the cheapest delays I've ever seen. It costs under 30 euro new with shipping. Is it good? Let's test it. Here it is, pretty nice box with user's manual, which you don't really need, because if you can't handle these three knobs, you're definitely a bass player. Well, first of all, this is made of metal, and this is good. I remember when Behringer brought their stone boxes on the market, they were super cheap, but they were made of plastic. Well, stone boxes are supposed to be switched with your foot, and plastic might be not the best options available. And they actually cost more than this one. Well, I might be wrong, but this looks like one of those no-name Chinese products which is resold under retailer's brand name. At least I think I saw a couple of yo-yo products under different brand name. But this doesn't mean that this is a bad product. Let's hear how it sounds. Well, I'm impressed. This is one of the cheapest uh, delays I've ever seen and it sounds great. This might be one of those working class devices which you put in a pedal board and it makes sound everything nice and spacey. But there is one problem. When you turn the repeat knob all the way up, it makes endless repeat loop. Well, nobody in right mind would actually use this, but for some reason the repeat loop will sound louder and louder. And this shouldn't be. Well, if you're looking for a cheap, nice sounding, easy to use delay, this might be your choice. I still have to send it back, but at some point I wish I could keep it. Well, this was a review for the Yo-Yo analog delay. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!